And good morning once again. I'm Keith Koontz. We continue to follow some big breaking news out of New Haven, where the Yale University campus is now on lockdown after police received reports of a man with a gun on the campus. Let's get right out to News 8's Aaron Logan, who is live on the campus right now with the latest. Aaron, what do you know? Well, Keith, police are certainly taking this very seriously. Just about five minutes ago, they asked us to move back here onto the New Haven Green. There is a SWAT team back there. They are looking for a gunman. There were reports that there is a gunman on old campus. Now, there was a call that came in from a phone booth on the 300 block of Columbus Avenue just after 10 o'clock this morning. And then there were reports on the scanner that there was a man with a mask with a long rifle and he was seen running onto the courtyard. This has been going on for about 40 minutes now. Police aren't really giving any information other than the fact that they are looking for a man with a gun and they're asking anyone who comes anywhere near College Ave to stay away, get here onto the New Haven Green. There are several streets also blocked off here in the downtown area as this search continues. And I got to tell you, Keith, one could only hope that this does end up being a situation like this, like Central Connecticut State University back just a few weeks ago when there were reports of a gunman and it turned out that the man was actually wearing a Halloween costume. So people are obviously concerned, very scared. Anytime we hear anything about a gun, it has to be taken very seriously. So right now, it is very uh, calm yet chaotic here downtown, and we will bring you the latest developments as we get more information. Keith? Aaron, I know that uh, New Haven Police and Yale Police are both on the scene. Have you seen any evidence of any SWAT teams coming on the campus? Yes, I did mention that there was uh, the SWAT team here. They are on scene uh, inside this area here. Mainly, that's where they're looking for what they're saying is a gunman again. Uh, really no confirmation at this point other than the fact that they're asking everyone to stay clear and stay on the New Haven Green. All right, Aaron Logan, we appreciate it. We're now going to uh, give you a map kind of showing you, giving you folks at home an idea of exactly uh, what we are talking about. This is a map of the Yale University campus. And again, the, uh, the focus of the activity is on the old campus. Confirmation we got earlier from Yale police of a person uh, with a gun potentially on the old campus. This situation began to develop at about 10.50 this morning. Uh, initially, New Haven police got an anonymous call from a phone book booth rather, on the 300 block of Columbus Avenue reporting a person on the Yale campus with a gun. Uh, at that point, there had been no confirmation of a sighting of this person. Uh, Yale and New Haven police, of course, are working this scene very closely. Uh, they have directed folks in the Yale community that obviously includes not just the uh, undergraduates, but the graduate students and uh, members of the uh, community, the campus community, uh, to stay where they are as this investigation takes place. Uh, anybody with any information is being urged to call 911 immediately again. Uh, Yale is advising all folks to stay in their current location until they really know what they're dealing with here. Again, uh, we've seen a lot of these type stories, uh, tragedies uh, over the recent months. And of course, as Aaron mentioned, we had the uh, situation up at Central Connecticut State University in the past month that uh, thankfully turned out to be uh, nothing serious. Uh, so we will, of course, stay on this story. If we get any new developments, we, of course, will pass them along to you. For now, I'm Keith Koontz. We're going to go back now to regular programming.